So every now and again we make a mistake, kind of like we make in this video. I've had to do this a few times because I've cocked up. Um, yeah, if you look on here, you can see that the there's a bit of a glitch and this tiny little thing that's ups, upsetting the, the flow of the animation. So uh, what we're going to do is delete that frame, delete all the offending um, parts that are causing the problem, and then we end up with a much smoother bit of animation there. Um, now, if we had rendered out the whole thing as a movie file, not only is the quality d diminished, but we have also have to re-render all 4,000 frames. As we, all we need to do is render out the bit that's affected. Um, all we have to do is ren render out those frames. Now, with this, I am going to uh, render out the scene or this little segment of the scene uh, when the object or the prop and what I'm calling it goes off the screen because there is some physics uh, applied to it and if I just rendered out that one little bit um, you would see some jittery so I'm going to probably render out more than, than was actually necessary so we'll render out to about 515 uh, from 0 to 515 so that's 515 frames versus 4000 saves you a load of time and uh, what you can do with the export feature if you go to export animation it's very simple up here you can set how many frames you actually want to uh, export and we put it in the folder that we did before uh, let's just choose the actual folder that we need to do it in and we'll put it in the body because it's the body folder um, overwrite existing files click OK I'm not going to do it because it will take a time and then we render that out and because I have the project set up in Resolve where I had various different layers I printed out the body as a separate piece and one frame for the background which then I can stretch and multiply um, over the whole animation and the prop itself so if we come in here and look at the fusion uh, node tree you can see that I'm reading in three separate files. So I'm re re rendering in, I'm reading in the prop, I'm reading in the body, and I'm uh, uh, creating an, uh, a background. It's because I haven't fully decided what the colors should be, and it's always nice to bring them in as different layers because you can just tweak stuff without having to re-render. At any point, I can just change the color of the prop. Uh, or the background etc etc and uh, that would work out fine but what this means is that um, because I've overwritten the, uh, uh, the picture file, the PNG uh, images, the files um, it will automatically update my um, my fusion resolve uh, project so when we come to the 15 point mark that glitch is now gone and then all I have to do is re-render the whole thing out uh, correctly and it will um, render out a whole new animation and uh, that's why we do uh, we render or part of the reason why we render stuff out is in a PNG sequence because it allows us just to re-render and fix mistakes in a particular portion. Um, at this point also I would also recommend that you download a fantastic little viewer called DJV. Um, it is a open source free to use um, uh, image sequence um, player and it works really well. Um, you just you can play uh, PNG sequences, JPEG sequences, EXRs, all sorts of stuff. And um, yeah, it works really fantastically. Um, the computer I'm, I'm on only has a limited, small amount of memory relative. Uh, so the bar is quite small, um, but um, plays back really well. And that allows you to see an image sequence without much hassle at all. And it's a great little player. It's like a little flick book sort of thing. Anyway, that's it. Ciao for now. Uh, be good to each other and uh, stay cool till after school.